Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on January the 12th, 2021. House to impeach Trump amid Deutsche Bank response. Democrats are set to file for the first ever second impeachment of President Donald Trump as early as Wednesday, giving him one last chance to leave office Tuesday after the January 6th attack by his supporters on the U.S. Capitol. However, unless Trump resigns himself or Vice President Mike Pence takes steps to remove him from office under a provision of the 25th Amendment, a law that has never before been applied, which allows a majority vote to strip the president of his power if he is unable to perform his duties. In addition, after after the attack of the capital, Deutsche Bank said it will not do business in the future with U.S. President Donald Trump or his companies. It is Trump's most important creditor, with about $340 million owed on loans to the Trump Organization, the presidential umbrella group now controlled by his two sons. Global markets slow down as bond sellouts continue. Global stocks took a break Tuesday, escaping record highs as political turmoil in Washington and the rise of coronaviruses came to a halt. Although the sell-off in U.S. Treasuries lingered as investors count on big government spending, the yield on 10-year U.S. government doubt rose 2.4 basis points to a new 10-month high of 1.1580 percent. MSCI's broadest index of Asia-Pacific stocks outside Japan fell 0.5 percent after hitting an all-time high on Monday. Meanwhile, Japan's Nikkei lifted by drug makers to a new three-decade high after reports of another effective treatment for COVID-19, though the index was down 0.16 percent in the afternoon. S&P 500 futures were 0.05% weaker in London FTSE futures were 0.13% lower in Asia on Tuesday. On Wall Street, the Nasdaq led a modest loss overnight down 1.3% as investors sold off tech giants that took action against Trump and his supporters. Major firms condemn Republicans for a capital attack. U.S. lawmakers who last week voted against Joe Biden's victory in the U.S. Congress on Monday faced a growing backlash from business as major corporate companies said they would cut support for their campaigns. The announcements by Amazon.com Inc., General Electric Co., Dow Inc., AT&T Inc., Comcast Corp., Verizon Communications Inc., American Express Co., Airbnb Inc., Cisco Systems Inc., Best Buy Co. Inc., and MasterCard Inc., among others, threatened to throttle fundraising resources for Republicans who will soon be cut off from power in the White House and both houses of Congress. It is a sign that some corporate donors are reconsidering their strategy after last week's attack on the Capitol in an attempt to prevent Congress from formalizing a Biden victory.